Hi, this is Michael from BinaryCafe.com with a Brainy Face Project video. I've got two cameras here. I've got the RX100 and I've got the RX100 Mark II. The Mark II camera just came out a little while ago. It's not a replacement to the first version of the camera, but it does cost more and has additional features. There are a lot of additional features. I'm going to point those out in an upcoming review video. I'm putting the two cameras side by side, even going to compare them to a digital SLR because the quality on these cameras is really outstanding. We've got a one inch sensor inside the camera and it's definitely a pocket camera, a point and shoot camera that you can take with you and get excellent photos. But why would you want to spend more money on the Mark II? I wanted to point out three of my favorite features on the Mark II and let's go ahead and jump in. The first is on the RX100 camera here, you've got a beautiful screen, but the screen is fixed. There's no viewfinder, which means that in awkward angle situations where you're shooting down low or from up high, it can be difficult to get your subject in frame. So the RX100 Mark II camera actually has a tilt screen and basically all you need to do is just tilt that. You can actually tilt it so it's practically horizontal which allows you to shoot just by holding the camera here at your hip or down low and you can actually see what's in front of you. You can also tilt and you can shoot your pictures and movies from way up high and that's great if you're in a crowd situation as well. So this tilt screen is just a really straightforward feature but one that I really like with the Mark II camera. The next one is accessory support. If you notice on the top of both cameras here, um, they're very similar to one another, but on the first version, the RX100, you just have this big open area between the stereo microphones, and you can't really do anything with it. It's kind of wasted space. So Sony now has put a hot shoe on the Mark II camera, and if you click and move this little slider out here, you can see that you've got connectors, and what you can do is you can purchase additional accessories. For example, Sony has a, an electronic viewfinder and that allows you to look through the EVF and frame your photos that way which is good for outdoor situations. It's pretty expensive. I haven't purchased one of those myself but I have found other applications for this as well because if you want to you can take uh, something like this LED flash here and you can click and slide that right into place put it right on top of the camera. This camera is really good in low light situations but when you put an LED light on the top of the camera now it makes it really easy for you to go and shoot high quality video even in dark situations where the one inch sensor is not going to pick up a lot of detail. So that's a pretty cool feature. Another thing that I like about the Mark II camera, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on and I'm going to go into movie mode and I'm going to start capturing some video. I purchased a tripod. This is a Sony tripod and the model number on this is VCT VPR1. And it's just a standard tripod from Sony, but what I really like about it, and I bought this tripod to work with my HX300 camera. You can see it's recording right now on the tripod is it's got this remote control and it's a wired remote control that actually connects to the camera by using this multi connector right over here and this is basically it's like a micro USB port on the camera and with this camera here with the RX100 camera there's a multi input on the camera but it doesn't work with the remote control. With the RX100 Mark II, I was very pleased when I plugged it in and I was able to use the remote control. So on the tripod, I can actually do zoom in, I can do zoom out, I can take pictures, and I can even record movies. And that's really great if you're in situations like outdoors and you're trying to do some photography in low light situations. So as far as accessories go, the RX100 Mark II does a really good job supporting additional accessories and I'm sure Sony's going to be coming out with more of those in the future. Now the last feature is Wi-Fi and I'm going to turn off the flash here and take that off the camera. With Wi-Fi what you can do is you can use your phone and if you have an Android phone or an iPhone what you can do is you can put it into wireless mode and you can connect to your camera and you can control the camera remotely. 
this is just a fun feature. It's cool. I have been asking for Wi-Fi for quite some time just for the ability to transfer pictures from the camera to the computer without having to hook it up with a USB cable. And you can do that with the RX100 Mark II. You can actually connect to your camera using Wi-Fi from the computer and transfer files. But this feature here, this is just super cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera here into a uh, photo mode and I'm going to go into the menu here. I'll just press menu. And on this screen, you have some different options. On the first screen here, it's option one. Just go down to control with smartphone. And I'm going to click OK. And what it's going to do is go into Wi-Fi mode and set up a little SSID. So I've got a wireless network here with a crazy long name and a password. And the device name here is the name of the camera. So I'm going to set this down and I'm going to take my iPhone here and I'm going to type in my PIN and I'm going to go into the Wi-Fi mode, make sure that it's on and then I'm going to go into the network here. I'm going to scroll through and find the name of the camera right here and I can see that on the screen. I'm just going to go ahead and let me zoom in here so you can see the focus and I'm going to click on the name of the Wi-Fi network. It does take a second or two for it to connect to the network, but it's actually going through Wi-Fi, connecting to the camera. And as soon as I see the little check mark next to the Wi-Fi network, what I can do here is go to the application that I downloaded for free from the iTunes store, because this is an iPhone. If you have Android, you can download the application as well. And it's Sony Play Memories. That's the name of the application. There's no charge for it. And when I go into this application, let me just move the camera over there to the side. What it's going to do is it's going to connect to the camera. And I'm actually looking at, if you can check this out, I'm moving the camera around and it's sending the signal wirelessly to my phone. And I can't even, you probably see this here if I use the zoom in and zoom out. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in. See the lens moving? You can actually zoom in, you can zoom out, and when you get the picture framed, you can just go ahead here and you can click to take a picture. And you can just go ahead here and shoot your movies. You can shoot pictures by controlling the camera using Wi-Fi. And that is just a really, really fun feature here. So lots of really cool features on these two cameras, but there are a lot of reasons why it might be worth upgrading to the Sony DSC RX100 Mark II. I'm gonna cover more of those in the full review video that's coming up. But for now, I just wanted to point out three of my favorite features, which are tilt screen, You've got the accessories that you can use with the camera as well. And then finally, you have the ability to connect to the camera by using Wi-Fi to not only transfer your photos to your computer wirelessly, but also to control it from your phone as well. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.